So here we're going to talk about which veteran player on the New York Mets could get released sometime in the first month of the year. And this video starts right now. New York Mets are not afraid to release veteran players, especially veteran players that do not play well. We saw last year that they released Robbie Cano, don't you know, the two-time PED violator, and they released him knowing that they were going to owe him $25 million last year and $25 million this year. So he's gone. So the Mets aren't afraid at this point. Uh, the Steve Cohen Mets are not afraid to release players if they think that they can't help them. Uh, so the player we're talking about here is Darren Ruff. If you remember Darren Ruff, the Mets picked him up in a trade uh, right before the trade deadline from the San Francisco Giants. They traded J.D. Davis and a, a bunch of minor leaguers, minor league pitchers. Um, and he came here. Wa the Mets wanted him to be the, the sort of platoon side, the, the right-handed platoon side of the designated hitter. They made a trade for Daniel Vogelback, which they picked up from the Pirates. And Ruff came here uh, with a big reputation to hit left-handed pitching. He had a big year in 21. It was a, one of the reasons that the that the Giants had such a good year, uh, why they won 107 games that year, was they had a lot of good years from a lot of veteran players. He was one of the veteran players that had a good year. And when the Mets picked him up, he was hitting fairly okay against left-handed pitching. But when he came here, he hit 152. With a 216 on base percentage, 190, 197 slugging percentage, zero, zero home runs. Uh, a fan graphs wins above replacement minus 0 0.9. Let me say that again. Minus 0 0.9, meaning he hurt the Mets. He helped. He hurt the Mets in one less than one game. So in less than one game, he, he lost the game for the Mets. Now, he is not making a lot of money. He's making about $3 million this year, and there's a club option for next year. I wouldn't think, even if he hits well, I don't think the Mets will pick him up for next year. Um, as you know, the Mets have minor league options. They have Mark Vientos. That could be a guy that could uh, come off the bench and be another uh, power back, because this team needs power. And with the injury to Edwin Diaz, they are going to have to find different ways to win uh, especially late in the game, uh, they need to find some power on this team. They have a good lineup, but they need some pop. The fact that Ruff played so poorly uh, the last two months of the season and the fact that the Mets were scrambling the last month to figure out who to put there in that spot, in the right-handed platoon spot for the DH uh, position, told you how they, sh they scrambled to find somebody. That's why Vientos got a shot. That's why... Alvarez got a shot because Ruff was such a failure. Um, now, he had a cortisone shot put in his wrist in February, and since he's been playing, he's hit he's hit 3 for 20. Let me say this again, 3 for 20. So he is not even doing well in spring training. Um, now, like I said at the beginning, the Mets are not afraid. The Mets are not afraid to release him. He's not making a lot of money. Um, teams are going to be afraid to pick him up. Uh, he's going to be, he's either going to play well, hit well against left-handed pitching, or the Mets will release him. Simple as that. A uh, couple options, which I've seen online. One is make Eduardo Escobar the, the other side of this, the DH spot, and then you can play him around, you can play him second, third, or in the outfield a little bit, and have Brett Beatty be the, the third baseman, the regular third baseman, or Mark Vientos. Who has had a good spring? All the young Met players, aside from Alvarez, have all had good spring trainings. So that is something to keep an eye on, and to you know, just let you know that this is. This, I'm going to keep up on this. We're going to talk a lot about Darren Ruff as as the season begins. But that is the one like glaring issue, at least with a veteran player that the Mets have that that needs to be uh, rectified and corrected. So, you let me know what you think about this video. Also, if you are a subscriber to this channel. I would hope that you hit that bell for notification so you know when a video goes up, you can get a watch, you can watch it. And I know that not enough subscribers are watching the videos, and I need you to watch uh, to help this channel out. The channel's doing rather well. YouTube is really recommending the videos, but I need a little more help and just just you know just hit that bell for notification. So if a video comes up, I want to ask you to, to hit that bell for notification. Just do that for me. So 
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Thank you, and I'll see you.